hello and welcome to this vlog i hope that you guys enjoy this video i've just finished editing it and yeah there's a collection of random stuff and some inspirational talks and things like that so i hope that you enjoy this video i'm trying to post more often and also i would just like to give a shout out a shout out to myself <laughs> um i would just like to mention that I do have a patron and if you fancy giving it a look then go to the link below also um the comics are still for sale they're gonna arrive soon and yes that's it best of eating that plant <sighs> no 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 ow <laughs> stabbed by I was gonna say I got stabbed by a cucumber I think it's time to have some coffee and stop filming but yeah hope you enjoy this vlog uh, so Gigi is obsessed with the hallways I have to take him for a little walk around our building corridor <laughs> not sure why he just wants to check it out Gigi come back he's like let me stay I did some painting last night and this is just my sketchbook I had a lot of fun with this, just using the gouache acrylic ones that I bought in Japan and I didn't know that they were gouache slash acrylic gouache so I don't really like using acrylic but I bought this like medium that helps it get really, I don't know what, like juicy? I don't know what the word is to describe it so it kind of helps push it around a little bit easier but I enjoyed this and then I used the pastels a little bit as well. I might go in again and use some inks or something but really like the way that these turned out. They're just me having fun, basically. And I did this uh, pink one the day before. And yeah, I'm just trying to have fun with my sketchbook again and get back into it, basically. So today we are going to my parents' house for um, Father's Day. And then, yeah, I'm gonna take some stuff for the kids that, cause I've got a lot of nieces. So I'm thinking I might clear out some of my pens and stuff my old art supplies that i don't use and give them to them because i think they would like it okay so this is my art cupboard basically this is my cupboard and this is all i have to fit all my art supplies in and as you can see it's a bit of a mess i think i have way too much stuff way too much but also like super super messy so i'm trying to think what to get rid of or not get rid of but give to my nieces uh chris and his brother are playing street fighter in the background it's funny though because oh no avalanche of art supplies i want to sort this all out i'm really like ashamed of how this looks oh god okay i use a lot of this stuff i just go in and pick it out and um the thing is there's stuff in here that i've gotten for videos as well that i haven't used in ages but at the moment i think i'm just going to focus on taking these pens to my nieces because artex if you saw my recent video they sent me all the new pens so they sent me before i really like this box style that they had for the old version but yeah i have all these pens and they have like chisel tip which I don't like using, I really like using the brush pen. These can all go to my nieces, I think they will like them. I'm hoping that they will still enjoy like getting this stuff. Oh, and there's my ceramic. I was looking for my ceramic palette and there it is. Okay, well it's good to know that I can, I found it. So. Um, old sketchbook. These are like some old papers. I think this is from my comic now and I was like, oh, it's just like script and random stuff so i don't think i even need this but i think i just shoved it in this cupboard to like clear it out the way just in case this is my old like note taking book um it's like a calendar from mossery i stopped using it um a planner i mean uh, i stopped using it because my sister gave me a new one for christmas so i started using that one instead um little sketchbook i mean like i've got so many sketchbooks and stuff or oh, watercolor pad i guess this is not really a sketchbook so i don't really want to get rid of those because i know i will use that in the future here are my inks and some old paints that chris found so i want to use i love the inks so obviously i'll be keeping those um these old paints i used like a little bit but maybe to get rid of them i'm not sure definitely taking 
these pens to my nieces though because I don't need them and I probably won't use them now that I have like so many more pens with the brush tip and I think it will probably be like quite a nice thing for my nieces as well because they all love art um so it's, you know a nice thing to do I got these ones as well with a lid broke quite quickly into having these but all the colours so these are the chisel tip as well and these are i have used these a lot in the past and they haven't run out and i used them alongside my uh winds and newton ones and they didn't run out um the only reason i didn't use them as much as my winds and newton ones again the brush tip so still good just not to my not my taste kind of thing this painting that i gave to my best friend but she's forgotten about you know who you are <laughs> i'm joking um I shoved it in my cupboard so I've forgotten about it as well. Um, but yeah, it's already looking a little bit clearer. And I've got all my old pens here as well. I don't use, but I'm like, I don't want to get rid of because... Why are you, why are you in the lift? Obviously, I, I always use them in the pot. I think because they're in the cupboard, I'm like not using them so much but it's kind of a shame but yeah i think we're gonna go soon so i'm just gonna grab what i think my nieces will like for now and then i'll see you on the road i will be sorting this all out in the future though um probably in this video if not pray for me pray for this mess i'm just gonna shut this and not think about it again i've decided that i'm gonna take my little palette to my parents house to try and do some plain air drawing uh, I have a video on this if you fancy watching that. I will put the card up there. Just trying to refill the little, wait that's blue, um, the little slots. Because they seem to have dried out a little bit since the last time I used them. Sorry if it's messy, I will try and wipe that up when it's a bit dry. So I've got all my, I've got my Schminke Aquarelle watercolours that I've had for a while and I bought like three of them to try them out. Again, I still haven't bought anything like a proper thing of schminke yet, even though I really like the paints. I think because I got like too into gouache, I think I prefer the way gouache handles when, you know, you just have the opaqueness with... It's easier for me because I tend to make mistakes and I like to go back in and like cover them up. They're a little bit stuck because I've had them for a while. It's really satisfying putting them in the holes even if they don't really fit. This was not as aesthetically pleasing as I thought it was going to be. Don't worry guys, don't worry about it. There we go, that is everything done. Uh, yes, Chris, yes. What are you talking about? I am filming, yes. No, don't film. <laughs> that's everything done. Um, just going to package this up. I think that's going to stick to each other, but it doesn't matter. Ready to go. Come on, Chris, we have to leave. Hard away, love a day. Don't know the words. Do you think that this is not going to make it into the vlog? No, no, veto. veto. No, absolutely not. Veto. You can't laugh at me and then veto.
stop it stop that yeah those are cactuses that's gonna injure you So it is Tuesday evening and I'm just working on some like illustrations basically. If you follow my Instagram you might have already seen some of these but I've been using the Artex pens a lot. I've picked out like some colours and I did some like fish illustration which I really liked and I used this Copic pen, it's like a brush marker. Uh, to make like these lines and it was quite difficult because it's like a big brush marker so to make the fine lines is quite difficult but it's it's fun to play around with it um, also experimenting with using can't get this back in, um, using the pencils <clears throat> I don't know why I'm speaking like that I don't know why um, these pencils to like I don't know instead of the fine liner but I think I'm enjoying the fine liner or the brush liner a bit more than what this looks like with them so I'm gonna do some more drawings like this with the the pen this is like freehand with a pen and then because it once it's dried it can handle the alcohol markers so it was quite nice to like have that let it dry and then paint over paint over you know what I mean color over the top um, <clears throat> these pages are quite thin so yeah here's more experiments I'm enjoying doing like jellyfish and fish and stuff I don't know why I'm in a mood to draw sea life um, quite like this one like the way that it turned out this one is with pencils as well but like sparingly used um, just some more doodles not really happy with those so I feel like I stopped doing them because or stopped working on this page because I didn't like how those were turning out these are the paintings that I showed you from Sunday I believe Sunday evening yeah so just having fun trying to experiment a lot I think that's my goal right now I think I'm a little bit like lost on what to do because now that I finished my horror comic I'm a bit like well where am I going like what's my direction with my art so I think I'm trying to build up Instagram a lot more and things like that and work more on YouTube so I'm thinking of things that could work um, for those platforms so I think basically I'm trying to post every single day on Instagram as well so that's what I'm like heading to but also trying to have like fun with it Please excuse my blotchy face. I just had a shower, so this is what you get. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, I so like I said, I've been doing a lot of drawing to kind of get out of that mode of the horror comics, um, trying to be more creative and yes it's difficult because when you have a goal in mind and then it's suddenly like you've done it it's like okay now what so i'm trying to think what to do next and obviously i'm trying to focus more on patreon and instagram at the moment so i'm trying to draw and become better at what i'm drawing <clears throat> I guess that's always the goal isn't it to just improve artistically but I was thinking I would make that fish image a sticker and I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll print it like like a holographic sticker and it might be really cool for like yeah on ha hol as a holographic sticker but it'd be cool for a um, patron reward so I'm gonna send those off I'm gonna scan it in and sort it out and like send them off maybe i don't know who to go with for printer wise because i'm not sure if the printer that i print my comics with does the same does stickers like that so i'm gonna have to look i think awesome merch does stickers holographic but i'm not sure also the five separate prints i want to print out i'll do those locally though because they're just going to be normal prints so i don't think anywhere locally does like holographic stickers unfortunately 
so we wouldn't be able to get them. Um, I'm just trying to see, like, or think of stuff that I could do for rewards because a lot of the time I do stuff and I'm like, oh, I don't like that. But then people always surprise me, like, if I show it in a YouTube video or something, people are like, oh, I really like that. And it's like, it does surprise me the stuff that I personally don't warm to as much as some people do. So I'm always like, not scared, but like, uh, trip. I have trepidation to print loads of stuff for um, Patreon rewards in case people aren't really like that keen on it and then it's like, okay, well I've spent this money and now this is what you send me. Also, I'm pretty aware that um, this, the, the mail, the mail, mail has been really slow recently for, um, cause due to COVID and stuff. So it's like Patreon is a little bit slow in that regard too so i'm doing like things where i do like mega bundles because also like last month and the month before i took a break so i'm doing like a mega bundle to make up for those months and hopefully it will be fine um yeah i think what i'm gonna do is start like maybe doing the book club but like um and as as i <coughs> can't speak for less money and then we could get more people in i don't know have more of a discussion then it would be more free maybe i don't know i'm i'm trying to think of how i could improve patreon as an experience for people um so if you have any suggestions let me know what you think like if you've seen any patrons and you've subscribed to them and you've done it because of a certain reward then please let me know because i I want to start making like proper schedule rewards and really good rewards so that's where I'm at, at the moment I'm also going back to the office next week so no more working from home which is like I don't know I'm kind of looking forward to it but also not because um, I feel like I'm very much uh, an introvert or like introverted extrovert so like I can be really introverted or I can be really extroverted but when I'm usually in a work environment I'm quite introverted because I just want to get on with what I'm doing and then I don't know I, I I'm looking forward to being around a team and seeing other people's work and discussing that with them but also it does exhaust me so kind of half half looking forward to it um not looking forward to it L luckily my office is just seriously just down the road so it's like a five minute walk so I can come home at lunchtime and stuff so it's not really like the worst case scenario, it's fine. Um, I think it's just change where I'm like used to working from home now. Cause I remember when COVID first started and I started working from home, I hated it. I was so frustrated. I couldn't like get work done. I found it really difficult. Um, and now I'm like in the groove of it. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, obviously there'll be less filming about because I won't be like, I could probably film my lunch break and stuff, but there'll be less like little clips of around the house and stuff to film. So vlogs might be a bit difficult, but we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, that's the update and um, I think I'm going to leave it there for this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed this little segment. I'm trying to um, vlog every Wednesday, trying to, if I get like enough content or footage because if i don't get like good footage and there's no point because nobody would watch it but just trying to like i said post more often on youtube so if i get a vlog out every wednesday then maybe that's quite interesting for people i'm not saying that i'm definitely sticking to that but i'm definitely sticking to the saturday videos so anyway thanks for watching um please consider subscribing or checking out my patreon and let me know how i could improve it if you think i can that would possibly interest other people um no pressure for anyone of course so um thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye